Hello YouTube, it's me again, Sorogi Pro. Welcome to our video today. And I wanna share with you how you can simply share a file within your home network or home office network or office network. Maybe you wanna share a file within Windows 10 so that um, people in your office can access this file. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk you through, give you a detailed explanation about it. So let's go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do guys is, this is my laptop here, and we're going to share a file coming from this computer, and we're going to access it from my laptop. We need to configure this PC here so that it will be able to share files. Uh, both of these computers are connected to the network. Focus into this uh, computer here. And the first thing I'm, I wanna do is, to make sure that I have a friendly computer name. To make sure you have that one, uh, go to this PC, right click this one, and go for properties. Once you have the properties, you can see the computer name here, home PC. Now if, uh, for, for other computers, you will have that one, a very long name that says desktop and a lot of numbers or, or letters out here. I, I recommend that you are going to change that one. So click on change settings. And then here to rename this computer, you can click this change button and click that one. You will be able to change this one. So for me, it's already, uh, that's good enough for me. So I'll just uh, go ahead and cancel. For you guys, you can go for a change name here and then, okay, this will prompt you to restart your computer. So if you have changed the name, um, well, your computer will start and you can get back to this one. Just make sure you have a friendly name here so that it's easier to, to give that uh, share name to your computers or to the users who's going to access those folders. I'm going to create a folder here, a new folder. And the name would be, let's say, home or uh, office share. Office, I'll just name it as office and then go for right click, properties, and go for sharing. Click the sharing tab, go for, um, don't click the share yet. I'm going to go for advanced sharing so that I'm going to put uh, share this folder. I'll just leave that one the same office and then click on permissions. Uh, you can set everyone to full control, change and read. So it's up to you if you just want them to browse the um, files, then it's okay. But for me, I'm just going to give them full control. Apply, okay. And then this um, that one, I'm going to go for apply. Okay, as well, as you can see here, this is the computer name and then this is the folder. That's the kind of share link of this file so that everyone can access. You click on share button and then you add everyone since we are trying to share a folder to everybody else. So I'm going to add and then you can see it here. It will only give read permissions, put in read and write so that they can add files out there and then click share. Our Folders are already shared. I'm going to do done, close. The next thing we need to do is go for, uh, we need to check the sharing settings of this computer so that uh, we can make sure that everything is going well. So you can type in here, control panel, click on control panel, and then go for network and internet. Click this one, and then go for network and sharing center. Click that. Here on the left pane, you can see change advanced sharing settings. I'm going to click this one and you can see that there are buttons here. Make sure that network discovery is turned on and then you can see all networks here. You click this one to open up other settings. Click that and make sure that turn on sharing, this should be on and then use 128-bit encryption that is recommended. We do not need to change that one. And lastly, you have turn on password protected sharing or turn off. Now for me, I keep this one turned off because if you are going to turn this one on, you need to give your password to the users who are going to access that. Well, anyway, this is going to be shared to everybody else. So we don't need any password. So you can save that one. For me, I didn't change anything here. So the save button is disabled. But for you guys, if you have changed a setting here, you should have an activated save settings here. You need to save that one. I'm going to close this and jump into my laptop. But before that, um, I'm going to create a new file here and type in sample like that. And then go inside, type in something, hey, like that. 
Okay, I'm going to save this one, close. And I'm going to jump into the laptop. So here guys, I'm just going to go in, click the button here and type in the um, link that we got from that computer earlier. So I'll just in slash slash home PC and then that is office. You can see there, it auto completes. It detected that there is a folder shared on the network. I'm going to click this and there you go. Inside this one, we have the sample, sample kind of thing. So I'll open this one and it says, hey, <laughs> okay, there you go. That's how simple it is, how you can share a folder and everyone can access that one right away. I can also create my folders here since we have read and write permissions. So I'll just go ahead and hey, folder, um, this is uh, my files, my files, okay? And we can go ahead and check it to the other computer if that was created. So there you go. There, it is created there. Just like that and we're able to share our files. Now there's another way you can access these files from here uh, using the IP address, but it is not recommended because it can change anytime, especially if you are using a DHCP server. So if we can go in IP, I mean CMD and then IP config, um, you have 192.168.1.13 here. I'm just going to jump into this uh, laptop here and we are going to use that IP address to access those files. So I'm just going to close this one. Let's try to see if we can access that. The slash slash 192.168.1.13. I'll press enter. And yeah, the office folder is here. I'm going to open this one. And the same, I have my files and sample. So that's how we do it. And um, that is a very simple file sharing, okay? So if you have any questions, just, just let me know and I'll help you out.